Welcome to the channel. If you'd like to help us out, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you after the video. Hey guys, welcome. Every now and then I come across a little device that I think is worthy of making a video. And this little device right here is one of those things that I definitely would recommend um, people should consider buying if you own a car or whatever, you know, whatever they use is like a car battery type of thing. It's made by a company called Moto Power. It is a 12 volt digital battery tester, charging system analyzer. It also uh, tells you whether your alternator is working properly, charging properly. And it's really simple to use. What happened with me was my work van, I came out one day and I went to start it and all it did was went click, 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 click. And so right away I thought to myself, oh my God, it's about at least three, three and a half year old battery that I have in it. And nowadays they don't make these batteries to last much longer than that. And I figured I had a dead battery. So I was thinking I should just go right around the corner to my friendly uh, neighborhood mechanic who's probably going to hit me for something else other than just a battery. So I decided to um, see about ordering this thing from Amazon. Got here in like two days through Prime. I, uh, my battery cables apart. I also have a, an older type battery charger that I got from Harbor Freight. And um, I put it on a slow charge throughout the day. I connected this little baby to it and it told me that the battery was actually good. And then what I did is I, I started the, uh, cause I was thinking now maybe it's my, my alternator. And uh, it told, you know, I, I started the, the truck and it told me the alternator was good. So what it ended up being was that on the cables themselves, there was a little bit of corrosion I couldn't see. And it was keeping the connection from being made. And these diesels, that you know, I have a diesel, it's got the seven, is it seven three liter diesel? These things need to have a strong battery to kick over. And so it wasn't being it wasn't able to get the proper charge or the proper amount of juice that it needed for it to kick to kick, to kick the engine over. And I'll show you how this works. Ready? Real simple stuff. So in my case I got this little connector right here. Connect the the red cable to it. negative clip to this side and look over here all right so it's telling me right now it's a 12.52 and it's a medium charge okay now what i've been noticing is i've tested this out on various cars three different cars so far and they all seem to be on medium charge after they sit overnight at first i thought that i was losing power just you know from the draining from something but medium charge seems to be the, the, the you know, where, where it sits at. So then what I do is I go inside and I told you, as I mentioned before, this thing not only tells you whether your battery is good, whether it's empty and needs a charge or if it's dead and you should replace it. But it also tells you if your alternator is good or if it's um, charging high. So now I'm gonna go inside the, the van. I'm gonna crank it over and uh, see what, what it tells me about my alternator. All right, so here we go. Gotta wait for my light to turn off. I always wait for a little bit while longer. Once I hear the fuel pump fully cycling out, I usually crank it over. Okay, there it goes. Let's go see how the alternator is charging. And right there, right there, it's telling me that my alternator is good. So this little thing right here, this little unit right here, is actually pretty excellent. And um, what this thing did for me was. As I said, I was gonna go around the corner and I was gonna have my mechanic take a look at it and let me know what was wrong with this thing. But as, I, as everybody knows, you know, it all depends on what that mechanic, what kind of day he's having and whether he wants to possibly make an extra couple of bucks. I've never gone to a mechanic and never 
did I walk out of there with without a, without getting charged something. There's always a fee of some kind. And so this little, which I'm going to put a a link to in the description, right off of Amazon, was about I think between fifteen to twenty dollars. And then I bought some dielectric uh, grease, put it around the cables, and um, and that seems to solve my problem. So. Hopefully this is helpful you guys, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that video, like, subscribe, and leave a comment, click one of the videos that I'm hovering, and click that subscribe button. Appreciate it.